there, Melanie from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium here. Thanks for joining us today for On the Water. Here at CMA, we believe in preserving our marine life and environment through leadership in research, education, rescue, rehabilitation, and release. Hi guys, I'm Cassie from the sea turtle department. We're out here at Fort DeSoto today releasing Urchin, who is a green sea turtle, a juvenile green sea turtle. He's just under five pounds. Um, he came to us just 12 days ago on April 23rd. Um, he came in with the help of sea turtle trackers that brought him from the St. Pete area um, to Clearwater Marine Aquarium because he was entangled in some fishing line as well as a very large lure that was attached to him too. I responded to the call and the green turtle was there swimming and it appeared to be fine, but the fishing lure was the same size as the, as the turtle. We did secure the turtle in a net for about two seconds. It flipped out of the net and took off swimming. About 15, 20 minutes later, the turtle came back. It was feeding along the seawall. It, it eats grasses. We then threw the cast net, secured the turtle, and our great friends at Clearwater came to the rescue as they always do for us. This may be my 30th or 40th, 40th turtle that I've taken to Clearwater through the years. Upon coming in, we were able to see that the lure and the hooks actually didn't make any damage to him, just some small lacerations, superficial lacerations to his skin, I and mean, a small area of his shell was a little bit damaged, but very minor injuries. Um, upon that, we treated those injuries and we were able to put him in the water the following day. We put him in, he swam with no problem, acted very much like a normal turtle, didn't display any signs of sickness. We were able to feed him that day and he ate with no problem on his own. He foraged all the food. From then on, uh, we were able to kind of become more hands off with him. And here, just 12 days later, we were able to release him back into the big blue. So you'll notice too that Urchin here isn't wearing any jewelry, or what we like to consider jewelry, which are his flipper tags. Um, be being that he's so small, um, it's recommended to just pit tag him, which is a microchip that we can put into him. Um, so if he does restrand, they'll be able to pick it up from that. But because his size is so small, those uh, flipper tags would actually fall out fairly quickly because he's going to be growing so dramatically. of the lure is just about as big as his body. Um, you'll see it's just about the same size as his shell. So we ask everybody to please clean up any of your trash on fishing. Uh, make sure you're disposing of any lines, hooks, um, lures that happen to come loose. Try to get those out of the water and dispose of them appropriately. One thing about that fishing lure, it's a deep water lure. A uh, little thought here, please, if you ever go fishing, don't get stainless steel hooks. Please buy iron hooks. It's better for in case you do hook a turtle. Watching. Tune in next week for another episode of On the Water. To watch more episodes, visit us at www.seawinter.com slash on the water. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook to get a sneak preview of each new episode.